this is hard cardboard. Look at that. It's a good cutter. It's a real good cutter for what it's intended. This is the Spyderco Assist Rescue and Emergency Knife. Serrated blade with a short straight edge on the very end with a hook. It's got like a hook end for grabbing up under things. I always thought it looked like an alligator. It's got what they call FRN handles. I call them plastic. I hate plastic. It's a uh, wire reversible pocket clip. You can put it over here. You can put it over here. A black coated blade. They also come in silver. This isn't like painted. So this is extremely durable black coating. That's the reason I chose it. They call this the Cobra Hood. See that right there? I just call it like a, a big thumb ramp type thing. It's a back lock and you got the spidey hole on the spider co here, of course, but this Cobra hood makes it really easy for opening and a great place to put your thumb for really good pig time cutting. But what I noticed is I'm sitting here stropping my Mora. I'm stropping this Mora just flat edge, which is fantastic. And I was sharpening my little marbles camp knife to wicked sharpness here. Put it on the go, go on the uh, work sharp, and then I was stropping it. That's my little cheapy marbles for ten dollars with all the bar, with all the bells and whistles. But I'm sitting here, and I was kind of stropping this serrated edge, which is good enough to take your arm off. This is the VG10 blade by Spyderco, made in Sakai City, Japan. Never, ever liked plastic like this. I have the Spyderco Police, all stainless steel, handle everything. Love it. Stainless steel, metal, you can't go wrong. Whoever designed this, which uh, was a Spyderco designer joint venture, I heard that I think it was a possible Japanese guy or something. This has a whistle right here. Those orange things are a whistle. I'll toot it for you. It's very difficult to blow in it. It's very difficult. You got to almost be a, like a flute player to blow in here just properly for the air to come out right there. Around the lanyard hole, it's got like this metal washer. I've been EDCing this for well over a year. Every single day, I wear AFCO Blue Water fishing shorts. It's what I've been wearing for 30 years. Every single day. And it has a wonderful Cordura plier pocket on the side. And as I'm walking and and actually using this, I only use this knife 
for giant cutting tasks. I use something like this for, you know, cutting a uh, bread and cutting an orange in half, or maybe I'll use this or a more Eldris that I EDC for cutting fishing line and things like that on my, on my charter boat. I noticed you can hear this metallic ticking. So when I opened it up and I was holding it and I noticed some rattling or something and I was like, what the hell is that? Well, plastic will be plastic, boys. Spyderco fanboys. This is the only portion that sticks out of my pocket, really. I go and I put it in the side Cordura pocket of my shorts. So it sticks up about there. Yeah, I bang around. I do all kinds of stuff. I'm laying on my side. I'm climbing in, in the boat. I'm doing all kinds of work. And what did I notice? I said, why is that rattling? That little lanyard piece of metal right there. Well, I come to find out that my FRN fiberglass reinforced nylon. I think that's a joke. In the boating world, there's metal boats. That's what I love and I own. And then there's plastic boats. There's fiberglass reinforced fiberglass boats. Okay. And they crack. And guess what? Right there. I could stick my fingernail in it. There's a giant crack in my Spyderco Assist. And it runs from this metal piece where the lanyard hole is and where you take the pocket clip and exchange it to the other side. There is a crack. I'm going to run my fingernail right in it, right there. It's cracked. The FRN handle is cracked right at the top of the pocket clip. Yes, it probably got banged. It got banged. But is that a weak point, fellas? Spider Co. fanboys? Is that a weak point on this? This probably, I would take a wild guess, is your average Spider Co. knife owner's least popular knife. Everybody's into the delicas and the this and the that, and all they want to do is sit there and flip, flip. I counted in one Blade HQ video on YouTube that the two guys, the one that has to wear the uh, stocking cap all the time or the wool cap with the buttoned up shirt, oh, excuse me. I can't remember his name and the other guy, which is kind of funny, the little skinny dude. I counted them flipping open knives something like 93 times in one video. In my world, I don't give two craps about flipping and all that. I use my new knives for work. And that really pisses me the hell off right there. How that is cracked. And I am going to now show you under a magnifying glass because the, the, the texture on here is very difficult to see. But there is no texture right there. And you can see the crack. So let's look underneath. Let's look in the magnifying glass. 
All right, well, I'm looking behind a GoPro Hero Sessions 4. And I see it plain as day right here. Let me get this knife. You know, a handle that doesn't crack, a Mora. Right there. It's cracked all the way around. And it looks like it might stop right there. That's the reason why this piece of metal here is wiggling around, kind of making a ticking sound because it's now loose or something in there. There's a flaw, a chink in the armor of an EDC Spyderco Emergency Rescue Assist Knife. You can see it right there, plain as day. A nice crack. As I always said, plastic will be plastic. Wonderful knife, but I knew going in that I can actually press on it and open that crack right up. That is not even using this much. This is only used for big cutting tasks. The only thing I ever did with this is carry it, open it, cut something that really the serrations are used for. Cutting a heavy rope, um, really, really thick zip ties, things in that nature. Other than that, it sits in my plier pocket on my AFCO Blue Water shorts. It's a wonderful knife. The one thing I love about this is it is a rescue knife. You have your tungsten carbide glass breaker there like I'm ever using that. I'll never use that for anything. But let me get a few items and show you the power of this knife. One of the cool features, and I'm, I'm not poo-pooing this knife 100%. I'm poo-pooing this thing 80%. Now, I already looked at Spyderco's warranty. I don't think I'm going to go through all that dog and pony show. Because, yes, this knife broke from pressure being put on it, I can open that crack. I could probably bang on this and break it. The only thing that's holding it right now, if it ends up, which I can't tell because of this little, yeah, it's cracked all the way into this back jimping over here, but not onto the other side. There's this texture here that's all dirty and I can feel the crack with my fingernail and it's going into the top portion. But the cool thing about this is, and I had this other, I had another video where I, I did this, is you can take and put 400 pound test in there and go and cut 400 pound monofilament. I mean, lickety split, folks. Here's your average 550 paracord from Walmart. Stick that in there, pull it tight. I'm talking like butter, folks. I'll even go to the second thumb hole. Yeah. How about very thick, like one inch or better webbing. 
Yeah. I'm not, this isn't a review, folks. This is showing you how badass this knife is, but it's got a big, big weakness. So let's stick that in there. Let's pull her tight because that's what you got to do. You got to pull it tight. Okay. Let's pull this across. There you go. That's one wicked mammer jammer. If you can just do that and it cuts. Now my Mora will cut it. No problem. I mean, absolutely no problem. I mean, say my marbles will cut it. Why? Because my shit is sharp, folks. This is just a little cheapy marbles knife. But the neat thing about this is, is this closure and sticking something in there. If you really had to do a big time cut and pull something tight, bam. That's the Spyderco Emergency Rescue Assist with Black Blade. I use it as a total EDC. I don't know if it's dropping down in the rotation now. Because I'm a little upset that plastic will be plastic. They can name it anything they want. Yes, there's different grades of plastic, but let me show you what's not plastic and the reason I love metal. All right, well, you can't hurt that. That's why Mora's are so fantastic. You can't hurt that. Hell, you can't even hurt the sheath. And this is a Spyderco G-Clip on a Mora sheath. Yes. Raise it up so you're not sitting on it all the time. And give this Mora some style. I've done it on many other... You ain't hurting this either, folks. There's a Mora Eldris with a Spyderco G-Clip. I've got an entire video on this called When Mora Meets Spyderco. You're not hurting this. Why does this get hurt and broken? That's what pisses me off. But you're not hurting that either. I think this might be out of the rotation now, folks. Metal. 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 You're not hurting. Metal. That handle is tougher than this handle. And that's a marbles camp knife. Metal. So all you Spyderco fans, hey, I like Spyderco as much as the next guy. But when it comes to being, oh, we have to make everything so light for you pussies out there. And I can, I can sit right here with no reading glasses on or nothing and see that goddamn crack right there, which makes me mad. $100. Spider Co. Hundred seven dollar Spider Co. Yeah, yeah. These are damn near the same price, folks. Right now, I'm all about metal. I'm all about toughness. I ain't worried about god dang oh it's got has to weigh so much that i just won't pull my little sissy dockers down when i'm selling the insurance policies in the cubicle piss me off 
Have a good day.